Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald in Peoria, headquarters of one of the best known companies in the world. Well, Caterpillar also happens to be one of the major employers in central Illinois, and now it's a major visitor's destination. More than 15,000 people from all over the country come here every month to visit the new visitor center. Well, Catherine Spitznagel, as we stand here in the lobby of the new visitor center, mm -hmm. I think you've been counting the days that you've been open. 114. 114 days. 114 days and we're thrilled. And, and I'll bet you've had some big crowds, haven't you? We've had uh, a little over 45,000 people through. Oh my goodness. In that time. From all over the country, I assume. All over the country yeah. and international. Uh, yeah. We have international wow. visitors as well. What a boost for Peoria. Oh, we're really thankful. terrific. Yeah, we're thankful to be part of it. And that's one of the reasons we built here. You know, this is, Peoria's our hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, the community is, is part of what uh, we love and uh, we want to welcome the community in and the yeah. surrounding communities. Yeah, the first thing you see when you walk in is this, this globe, yes. this stainless steel globe. Yes. And it's here for a reason, isn't it? It is, because we're all around the world. Mm -hmm. Anywhere um, you, know, you travel, Caterpillar's there and our customers are there. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of what this typifies. Um, in the center here, we have a time capsule and that's something will open in 38 years, our okay. 125th anniversary. And uh, that was dedicated at our grand opening. Okay, and nobody knows what, well, somebody knows, but you yeah, don't know what's in it. It's supposed to be a secret, tell right? You. We're not going to tell you. But the nature of what's in there, what sort of things sort might be? Sort of in things, there? Um, cat memorabilia, um, some boots. I got to tell you, we got cat okay, boots. boots. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, but we've got uh, some historic documents mm -hmm. and uh, some wonderful things from the grand opening. Yeah. And maybe yeah. some models of the machines that machines, were built this yeah. year, so yeah. in, in, in 125, or whenever the 125th anniversary years. is, yeah. they can look at me and say, look how quaint they were. Yeah. 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 Look at what they were building back then. Look at what they were building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And actually, we're that's excited. what we're going to see today only that's life what we're size see. stuff. Real stuff. And over here, this is kind of neat because you've got this display in yes. the tracks of. Cat iron. Good old yeah. cat iron. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So you'll see this throughout. You'll see cat iron mm -hmm. throughout all of the displays. You even here you buy your ticket over a bucket. Uh huh. So there's no doubt. Connects everything. You're a caterpillar. Okay. Yeah. All right. And and this this is proof of, of something. Yes. This talks about our, our lead gold certification. And we're very proud of that. Uh, we're a sustainable building and um, some of the things that make us sustainable are the way we've structured the building, the mechanical, electrical, um, throughout the building. This building is about 35% more energy efficient than typical buildings of the size. Um, you, you will see on the parking deck across the street, we have solar panels. They provide 10% of the energy mm -hmm. for this building. On a real sunny day, even 75%. Mm -hmm. and, and much of the, as I understand it, much of the materials would have been recyclable, recyclable or recycled materials. Yes, from this site. Mm -hmm. So we're very proud of that. Yeah, terrific. Yeah. The first thing you do after you buy your ticket is you go into the bed of the biggest machine ever built. Yes. To watch a video. Yes, the and you've got an seconds. actual theater in the bed of this thing where people can get yeah. introduced to what's in this exhibit. So if you would exactly. take us that way next, Let's that'd go. be great. All right. Hey, Catherine, on this catwalk, your visitors, the first stop is going to be, in, and we mentioned yes. this immense machine, yes. which holds the theater. And this will be the 12-minute video that they see that tells right. them what they're about to experience what when they come to the visitor yeah. center. So we're going to, since we only have a 30-minute program, we got just a little snippet of it. But if we go in, we can catch some of it. You can. I'll, come I'll on, follow we'll you. show you. Okay. okay. Powerful 
inventions propelling ships across oceans. Locomotives and rail cars transporting resources across American railways. Equipment working in landfills in Australia. Helping defeat cities in Africa. And mines in Asia. Forestry equipment at work in the extremes of Siberia and tractors under the burning sun of the Middle East. Well, Catherine, after the video, now we've changed positions and right. we've gone down a story. We're on the ground floor looking mm -hmm. up at the 797, which was the theater in which we were sitting to watch. Right. You were in the bed the of film. that truck. That's incredible. And the yeah. bed of that truck, the tour guide said, holds a two and a half story house. Yes. <laughs> and right now it's you, you use a theater. Theater. It's and incredible. it seats 62 people. Wow. Give you a, you know an yeah. idea. Yeah, and that's and that's a, a two, that's, that's two stories high. Yes. Oh, yes. That's unbelievable. And it's okay. And that's the biggest truck in the world. Biggest truck but made. there are yep. machines that are made that go down Bigger. in the mines yes. that load this thing. Yeah, so there's shovels, drag lines that uh, Caterpillar also makes, and they load this. And so you saw that on the film. That makes this look like a little toy. Let's get closer and okay. look up at it. We'll go around this way. Okay. We're, I hope these people don't mind us no, walking that's through. Fine. Okay, I, I assume this is like the radiator here. Mm -hmm. Radiator guard. Uh huh. And. I, I had to get near one of these tires, right. Catherine, because these things are like 12 feet tall. 13. 13. <laughs> Let's move this way a little okay. bit. Okay. 13, 13 feet tall. And tall. if you look up, it's absolutely dizzying. Right. Right. <laughs> and it's all to scale. Everything is to scale. Right. This is not the actual truck. Not there, the actual truck. There are truck. truck parts built into this. Yes. But this is mostly now a, a fabricated. fabricated stuff. Right. So the front is actual iron and the cab. Uh -huh. Is actual iron, yeah. and the rest is to scale. But it's identical. It's identical. Other, every other way. It's yes. unbelievable. And this is the 797 people. This is the big wow factor this is when the people big come wow here. Factor. They go wow, and then they take a tour of these other insignificant caterpillar <laughs> no, machines. No, they're all significant. <laughs> they're all significant. Uh, but they love to get on these. They can get in the cabs. They can, you know, right. operate. Right. They, they take know. pictures. They sit in the bucket. And they have simulators too. And we have simulators. Okay, yeah. let's go look let's at go one look of those. At those. Okay, th this is kind of the fun part, the, game, the, adult, the yeah. adult games part, yeah. okay, because what you have here is that we're going to be looking at a tractor. That fellow just took our seat. Let's see if we can ask him if we can have oh. that seat. Can we borrow this for just a minute? <laughs> Thank you. We'll give you. it right back to you. And then we'll give you. it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the cab of a tractor, right? This is, yeah, like look at like this tractor right behind you. Okay. So this is the cab, and we've got two of them that look like that. All right, well, I'm going to put this down and okay. have you show me how the heck this this to drive this thing okay Okay. well typically you'd start here pressing the horn button so go ahead and start that okay it didn't honk but that's okay okay okay, okay now it's going to start it's huh? going to start and right. it's going to show you um here you have the forward neutral and okay. reverse right so now these are real cat simulators okay yeah. right now it's in neutral which it's is i neutral. assume where it should be that's okay. that's over here there you here. go and now you're driving okay. it it says i'm going forward do I, I should put it in forward i guess there for okay yeah. and it also says that i'm i'm not sure what it's telling me to do it's saying okay. that i have to raise it's the blade it's showing how you raise the blade so, so you pull that okay, back okay so i'm going to yep. pull this back and it tells you right and, all and now the way up okay right. it's all and the way up lifts it up okay and now it lower the blade you push it forward okay there you go i guess that worked okay yeah. And so what you'll want to do to drive forward. Okay, I'm going to put it in put it forward. forward. Turn okay. it on. There you go. It is. It's going it's forward. Moving. And yeah. I see the blade is still up. So. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now reverse. drive it in reverse. Okay. So you pull you it to the R. It. There you go. Okay. This is not side. too complicated. It's not. No. Okay, now. Now I know I'm going to have trouble with this. Okay, that's turn. That's right. So you turn it right. Turn. Pull it towards you. Oh, turn right. Okay. Looks like. Yep. That's now push working. it away to turn left. Okay. It, well, I'll tell you that I got ahead of it. There you go. Okay. Now. Now it's going to tell you push it away okay. to turn it left. Yeah, and it is. Yeah. Thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. You're doing good. Now we're going toward a mound of dirt, which I right. assume is a good thing. Right. Okay. So that's when the When you're ready to push the dirt, honk the horn to so begin. So here's honk the horn. Okay. Okay. I didn't hear anything, but I think I did it. You did. Yep. Okay. There. Now we're going to push now watch, the dirt. Yeah, watch in the lower right hand corner there. It's uh -huh. going to show you what you're doing, and that's what okay. you're doing. You're going to push the I'm dirt and cover that up. pipe. Oh, okay, I'm going to cover the pipe. Yep. Okay, so well, now then you I probably want to go, go forward. I want to go forward. Perfect. Okay. okay. Now I'm going toward the dirt. Yeah. 
and, and I'm going to have to probably to lower the blade. Lower the blade, yeah. Uh, I'm doing that gradually. I hope that's the right thing that to do. That is. Do it a little bit. There okay. you go. And now you want to push some of that dirt in. Okay. Okay, and you probably want to... Yeah. It's, I think I'm getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> Push it in. There you go. Push it over. Okay, now um, you don't want to go too far. Okay. You're going right. to run right whoa, over whoa, the... Whoa, whoa. So that's oh, the I reverse. Oh, that's oh, okay. Oh, 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 I ruined the pipe. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay. So that's why these are I'm, simulators. I'm dangerous, Catherine. No, I'm dangerous. You're fine. All right. No, I'm just stopped. Thank goodness it stopped. Okay. All right. I feel safe. Okay, good. You did great. <laughs> okay. Catherine, this might be the last place I expect to see a NASCAR. <laughs> but but I mean Caterpillar doesn't it's build Caterpillar cars, car. right? Yeah. But but they sponsor them. They sponsor them. And Jeff and, Burton is our driver and uh, lots of uh, NASCAR fans that are also cat fans. Yeah, And yeah. so we hosted an event um, right after we opened with Jeff Burton and Richard Childress, and they came and did a signing. They brought their hauler, and we had uh, 700 people come on a Wednesday night just to see them. Wow, and they left their car. They left their car, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's really cool. I'm sure this is a replica, but, um, but this kind of shows that, uh, you're, you're right, people that love equipment, gearheads, Love cat and they love they love they NASCAR love too. Yeah, yeah. And, and they all know who Jeff Gordon. Even I know Jeff Gordon, and I don't uh, follow NASCAR. Yeah, he's a big star. He's big. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff See, Burton. Uh, yeah, Jeff Burton. Thank Jeff you. Jeff Burton. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get a lot of folks that probably just kind of. They just. They do, look in there. and they watch this. There's a you know video here, mm -hmm. so seeing the car. Uh, there's some uh, sign up sheets. Those are the sheets that he used to mm -hmm. signatures and. Oh yeah, people brought all kinds of things for him to sign, their own paraphernalia, and it was <laughs> Me, wonderful, yeah. The other thing you can do, you can't get in this, but you can get in some of the cabs of some can. of this big equipment, yeah. like that grater right yeah, there. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. Uh, yeah. Catherine, we, we mentioned the joystick. Yes. And, and that's what new drivers of cat equipment have, that they have a different kind of, uh, a whole different set of tools to whole, use. A whole different set of tools. Used to be, in this uh, machine, this is a motor grader, used to be lots of different levers and pedals, uh, much more complicated. Mm -hmm. um, with Caterpillar technology now, we've moved to the joysticks. Easier, much more intuitive, uh, much less strain and pain for mm -hmm. operators. And really, if you look at this whole cab, it's built around being comfortable for an operator. Uh, they work long hours, and it's um, these are designed ergonomically uh, to be easy, mm -hmm. easy to use, and easy to understand. And you see your, your feet pedals, that, that guides the front wheels, I think, guides right or left, and you yep. can see how a driver would go right and left, depending on which way he pushes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the dashboard itself, the gauges, the they're self-explanatory. Right. But it's, a, it's, it's comfort controlled in here, and uh, there's plenty of leg room. And like you say, there's not a lot of reaching. I mean, there's it's right there within your... There's not a lot of reaching, yeah. So it's, it's comfortable, it's very intuitive, uh, very little strain, uh, easy for folks. Uh, this is a complex machine, and it's much mm -hmm. easier to operate with the joysticks. People would see this machine um, in road building, where they're yes, grading they out grading. A, a, a lane road. of road, you gotta exactly. smooth it out and apply gravel and that kind of stuff. Exactly. Yeah, neat. Catherine, back in 1925, right. Caterpillar became known as Caterpillar. It did. Because two local companies merged. They weren't local. One was uh, in this area and one was in California. So Holt and Best. Uh, Holt came, and Best. Mm -hmm, okay, they made together. equipment. They made equipment and they came together to form Caterpillar in 1925. Okay. 25. Yes. And shortly thereafter, this is what they were building. It says Caterpillar on it. Yes. And you see here the, the logo <laughs> the track, at that time. Right? Yeah. The tracks. And, and said, that's why they call it Caterpillar. That's why they call it Because it appeared to creep like a Caterpillar. That's exactly right? it. Isn't that nifty? Yes. And it was uh, painted gray in those days because they, they didn't have the regulation yet about yellow being the color for on a highway. Oh, is that, is that how safety. that happened? Yeah. So yeah, it became it not only a safety thing, it became a, a trademark for it, Caterpillar. It did. I'll yeah. be darned. Isn't that lucky? Yeah. <laughs> because everybody recognizes the yellow, yellow of course. Yeah, cat yellow. Yeah. Okay, so this is what they were building then. Mm -hmm. Then the, I guess another milestone came in the 30s when they began to build... 1935, yeah. The diesels. Our first diesel engine, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, so we have a, yeah, we have a vintage one here. Uh, this one was actually built um, in 47, 1947. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, you can see all uh, restored. Yeah. And to the end here, we have a, a pony motor. And that's, this is what actually, you know, you'd start the pony motor, mm -hmm. it had a rope pull. You'd start the pony motor and then that 
would start the diesel. I see. Yeah. Okay. On cold mornings, that would have been a tough start. <laughs> that would have been, been a tough start. Not if it was Caterpillar. No. <laughs> now, we, you have one of these, a diesel powered. Uh, it, some diesel powered equipment up here yes. and I think we can go up there and what we can do is we can show the difference between what an operator had to go through to operate something of, of this vintage to what we just saw. Yeah. So let's walk up let's, there. Okay. Okay, it says okay. Caterpillar Diesel, which diesel. is what we're after here. Yes. And of course it's yellow by now. And it's a tractor. A tractor. Yes, All so right. let me show you. I'll step around here. If you want to have a seat there, Mark, I'll show you how this okay. works. Okay. All right. Big, so, big equipment. Big okay. equipment. So the flywheel on is your that, left over there. Okay. Yep. So make sure it's forward, which it is. That's okay. in space. Okay. Um, now, these are the two steering, right okay. and left. Okay. Right and yep. left. Yep. Yep. Put your feet on those pedals on too. Both of right them? and left. Yep. Okay. Much, okay, so you kind of see what it was like, okay. how hard those were. Right brake and, and now, left brake. Yep, pull on these. Wow, wow see that's how stiff. Hard? Yeah. That is, okay, so okay. now. I'm, so if you wanted okay. to go left, that's you That's steering, to do and left I can put clutch. this back, and yep. then. Whoa, that, I'll tell you what, if you did this all day, <laughs> exactly. you'd never need to now, lift now any look weights. At this gentleman, Whoa. this is what he did. So you think of operating this all day long. This was the piece of equipment oh, from the 1930s. Man. So okay. you compare that energy to the joystick the joystick we have that now. we saw. Yeah. And yeah. we haven't even played with this. Played this with is this. probably yeah, a lot more stubborn. Yeah, the shift and the throttle, you just put this in. But see again how difficult yeah. it is. I have a whole new respect for, I'm not even sure if I need to, I'm not even going to attempt that. Okay. A whole new respect for people that were operating this. Operating that. What for, we call automatic equipment. Right. Wow. Back in the 30s. Mm-hmm. Catherine, some of the favorite things for visitors to do. Of course, they like to visit those big machines they like and the go big to the machines. theaters. Yeah. And um, they like to, the simulators, right. which we've Get shown. On them. Yep. And they like to design their own machine. Like this is a neat, neat concept. Yeah. This is very popular. This is one of our most popular um, interactive exhibits. Mm -hmm. And so uh, let's take a look at this. This is that big truck that we ran upstairs. Okay. Okay. So if we want to design our own machine, Go I'm going to pick a mining truck, truck. yeah, because okay. we love those. Okay, so let's get this guy going. Move there we rock. go. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we can look at any of these different configurations. How about quarry mining quarry. over here? Quarry. Okay, let's look at quarry. Yeah, quarry we did, mining. and that's what was um, when we were in the truck upstairs. Okay. All right, so then within the quarry, what are some of the different packages? Oh, uh, how about payload? No, a mirror options. Or mirror options. Okay. okay, let's pick one of those. All right, now this is configured. So we now have the quarry and mining application with additional mirrors. Mm -hmm. Now, so I've designed this. Here's a big 777 truck, <laughs> and I'm going to email it to myself. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so and this. And what does it do? It, it sends yeah. it to your phone or yeah. to your computer? Either one. So I pull up a keyboard, I can send it here, and then uh, press submit, and it emails it to me. So then it comes on my phone. Yeah. And I get an email from Caterpillar with the equipment I designed. You're hired. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fun. It's Thanks, a lot Katie. of fun. Okay, let's go see some more. All right. <laughs> okay, CPS, CPS. construct or Caterpillar Production System. Pr production Systems. Okay, yes. and this entire wing is about production. About production. How Caterpillar produces, how our suppliers get the right part to the right factory at the right time everywhere in the world. So hundreds of suppliers there. Uh, this is one of our, our featured uh, suppliers from Italy. And this they made, this company makes bolts. They make bolts <laughs> with the cat insignia on them, and then they made this um, tractor for us. They uh, did, for out of their own opening. bolts at for the own grand opening. It says right here, cat. Yeah. And, and they let you keep it because they appreciate your business. They do. I'll bet they and do. And we appreciate I'll bet they them, do. yes. Okay, and then here, as we move, we begin, uh, the video here is about our, our foundry in Mapleton. And mm -hmm. this talks about how we pour quality in from the very beginning. And it shows the processes we go through to make this mold that makes this engine. And this foundry is in Mapleton, Illinois. Mapleton, yeah, so about okay. 20 minutes from where we are today. And here's a good example. I guess this is a gear, I'm this not sure. This is a gear, An immense yes. gear that was poured and founded or yes. founded in the And this in is Mapleton. where we talk about uh, quality uh, with this wow. gear how we, um, again, build that quality in, we, we quench it, we build it, um, we fire it, we quench it, and fire it again. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. 
makes it's it going strong. To get fired there it goes. Again, gets right fired. There. Yes. Okay. This area is all about automation, and this is actually a robot that was taken from one of our uh, mm -hmm. factories. We use automation in material handling, in painting, in assembly, uh, and even arc welding. Um, and the reason we do that is we use it on repetitive, pro uh, repetitive processes uh, that may cause pains and strains with our operators. Mm -hmm. And then we want to kind of save our technicians for the higher, uh, higher skilled tasks. Mm -hmm. So if a robot can do it, a robot let a robot can do, it, do it. That's huh? right, and, and keep our technicians safe and keep them doing things that are more skilled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we move into our, again, more manufacturing, um, and these videos show uh, assembly. So that big truck that you saw that, upstairs. There's the truck again. There's the yeah. truck, and this one does kind of a quick time assembly. How are these parts built? They're made in Decatur. Um, they're, they are either trucked or sent on rail then to the job site to actually assemble that, that big 797 on site. Now here's on one site. for you. This What's truck that? that we saw, that we sat in, that we Was looked it? at earlier, is yes. so big that in order to move it from one job site to another, it has to be dismantled mm -hmm. and put in 13 rail cars. 13 rail cars. So to go from the factories, go from Decatur, <laughs> 13 rail cars, get it to the job site, that's wow. where it's assembled. And then every time it's moved, again, it has Take to it be apart. Yeah. amazing. Yeah, so you got a whole team of people that do nothing but dismantle and move this thing. Dealers do. Our dealers do dealers for our do. customers. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. All right, then we're moving into our uh, recruiting gallery. Okay, and so people is, who would like to be looking for a job, job at, Caterpillar. at Caterpillar. Yes, they meet Amy, our virtual receptionist. Yeah. And then um, these kiosks show different jobs at Caterpillar. So we've had um, 70 people all around the world that have stepped forward and said, you know, I want to tell my Caterpillar story. Mm -hmm. So this shows you kind of the functional areas, accounting, engineering. If we go to engineering, we choose one of these folks, and it tells you where in the world they work, Brazil, yeah. what's the kind of work they do as an engineer, mm -hmm. and what's it like to work at Caterpillar. Now, how many people work for Caterpillar all over the world? All over the world, well over 100,000 people wow. all over the world. It's a big city. Yes. Now, here we have uh, 1,000 different job sites, or I'm sorry, job titles. Mm -hmm. So when we have lots of young folks come in and they say, what can we do at Caterpillar? And say, here's, here's a sampling. Here's a partial here's list. Here's a partial <laughs> list. So find a job and I'll tell you wow. about it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then we move into, this is our power systems gallery. And uh, what you see here, this mural shows the largest engine Caterpillar makes. And this gives you an idea. These are the valves. For these that are, engine. These are the valves on an MAK engine. The largest engine Caterpillar makes lives in what kind of machine? Uh, ships. Ships. So we're going to see those around the And this the is court. a pick. This a mural of, of that of that engine. Uh, of a portion of that engine. Wow. So that's the largest. And then uh, next here we see the smallest. So this is okay, our Perkins. Just to your right. Yeah. And and this would be in what kind of a, a machine? Oh, um, agriculture, lawn mm -hmm. and garden, okay. uh, construction, material handling, those kinds yeah. of. From the largest uh, to the smallest, and they, they, of course, they wouldn't both fit in here, but one right. of them does. Right, right. And this is interesting because you'll get an idea from looking at these dioramas that uh, the, the, all the multiplicity of things that you build equipment for. Exactly. And so um, this is probably, when people think of Caterpillar, they probably think of the industrial engines mm -hmm. first. Ra I didn't know railroad. Rail. A lot what, of people don't know that we're in the, engines and in the rail business, yes. Huh. Engines. Uh, we also work on the, the signals. We refurbish or recycle uh, cars. We do rail welding. Yeah, Those are all things that you know you may yeah. not think of. Now you don't build ships, we but you build but things that go in ships. We build the engines ships. that go into the engines, ships. Huh? Yeah, so the cruise engines, ships, cruise ships, tugboats, fishing boats. Yeah, wow. Yes, and even the go fast ones. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then uh, gas turbines. Our turbine technology. A lot of people don't think of us there, and. Um, Oil and gas. Mm -hmm. You know how we help to uh, power getting that the resources yeah. out of the earth, and then transporting them once they're out of mm -hmm. the earth. Mm -hmm. All part of what Caterpillar does. And this is a fun area, and our oh, kids I, love I like this. this one. Yes, uh, this our electric power. Well, that right now we're still on the oil. Okay. oil drilling. Okay. Okay. We're on an oil deck there. All right. So here we are, electric power. So we have the kids press this power button, and all the lights we go out. Got a out. Yeah. And then the Caterpillar Gen sets, of course, are the yellow ones, mm -hmm. and those come back up, and it just shows them how quickly a Cat Gen set can restore power. 
and, and the of important course, buildings, the, the crucial critical, buildings come yeah, up first, hospitals. and then the generators have it have it time yes. so that you get back in service. Exactly. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. And they will power, you know, something as small as a job site and as large as a city. And uh, we're proud that Caterpillar helped to power the Beijing wow. Olympics Amazing. through gensets. Yes. Catherine, I wish we could see the whole thing, but we can't. I know. But this has been a great little sort of a tidbit of what you got here. This has yes. just been a, a treat for us. I hope for our audience as well. Thank, thanks for everything. Thank you. Okay. We're so glad to have you today. The Caterpillar Visitor Center is open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 5. There is an admission. With another Illinois story in Peoria, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. For a DVD copy of the program you've just seen, send 1995 to Network Knowledge, P.O. Box 6248, Springfield, Illinois 62708. Be sure to include the program name, subject, and when the program aired. You can also order with your credit card by calling 800-232-3605.